Hi everyone, welcome to week 10. We are about two thirds of the way through the semester. It's hard to believe um, it'll all be over before we know it. Um, so really dig deep this week um, and do your best work. All right, so week 10, we have a few goals. Um, you're gonna have reading assignments, finishing the book, as well as a discussion um, and a quiz on the reading. The discussion is meant to jump start your next paper, which is a, a compare contrast essay. So the discussion will get your ideas flowing and then you'll submit a brainstorming activity as well as just an informal outline for your paper this week. So let's look a little bit more closely. So you are going to finish the book this week. Um, and then also there are some pages in your book to read for the upcoming essay. There is a quiz, much like last week, but it's just on the next section, the next two sections of the book. Our discussion is about finding connections in Diaz's work, as well as disconnections. So um, what you're going to do is pick two poems, and you're going to tell me a little bit about what these poems have in common, and also how they are different from each other. Um, when you're thinking about that, you're going to consider both poetic elements like image, lineation, sound, but also theme and the content of the poems. And then just end your post with a question for your peers about the book as a whole, something you're curious about, um, something you're wondering what other people thought. Um, make it as specific as possible. I think that makes the conversation more interesting. And then we have two small assignments to get ready for the next paper. The first is brainstorming. Um, so basically, I want you to think about this upcoming paper. Um, we're going to write it in steps. So you'll have the brainstorming and outlining this week, the draft next week, and the revised draft the following week. So you can get some feedback along the way. This week, just the brainstorming and outlining. All right, so for this paper, it's going to be a compare-contrast essay. I'm sure you've, you're familiar with those, and your book kind of will catch you up on how to write them for literature. We're going to be analyzing two poems from Diaz's book. You get to pick the poems. Um, so things that, two poems that you think share similarities but also have a few things to discuss that are different. Um, we're going to use our explication skills from last week in this paper to sort of break down those similarities and differences with examples. So what I want you to do is write two thesis statements the thesis statement should include um, all of this information. I have some examples here that you can take a look at for different ways um, you could structure your thesis statement. Um, as long as you turn it in, you should get full credit. Um, and if you're stuck, go back to the discussion, your notes, your annotations, contact me, we can talk about it. Lastly, after you have done your thesis statements that will kind of help you think through a topic, you get to pick one that you're going to focus on in your essay. You'll make an informal outline. We've been doing these a lot this semester. Um, it should include a thesis, main points, which would be the similarities and differences, and then any supporting lines um, for each similarity and difference that you mentioned in the outline. Um, some just some support from the poems themselves. Um, and then if you have all that, you should earn full credit. Next week, we'll start writing the draft, um, and it will be three to four pages in length, double-spaced at the end. All right, have a great week, everyone. Let me know if you need anything.